my previous video was uh, how to create group in crystal report this video is how to uh, how to pass parameter in crystal report and display the parameter in the crystal report in windows form application see continue Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to display parameter and pass the parameter in a uh, crystal report in SQL C Sharp. Start Visual Studio. This is the Windows Form application. Add a new class. Name is class one. CS public static string PID. Initially, I just declared uh, the string as PID. Now public static string product ID. The class name is product ID. Pass uh, second bracket start and end. Now get return PID and set also cell PID equal to hell. Let's see continue. <coughs> now go to the toolbox. Add a label control. Change the text and size of this label in the property window. Font bold is true. Size is enough. Uh, 10 is enough. Text is product ID. I will put product ID and I will get a take a text box in the uh, form and I will put product ID. To load report just uh, by drag and drop from the toolbox and uh, add a button control resize the button change the text of this button load report change the font size of the text of this button 12 12 is sufficient now it's show easily go to the click event call the class my class name is class 1 and the method uh, is product id class 1 dot product id equal to in the class 1 dot product id take the value from the text box 1 what i put text box 1 dot text this is the text box 1 the text box name is text box 1 now my form where, where it will redirect crystal report form a equal to new crystal report form a dot show when i click in the button uh, the product id will pass and uh, uh, crystal report form will display this is the crystal report form then the name of this form is crystal report form and uh, in the code uh, load event i just write the code where product id equal to equal to see the syntax you have to maintain this this syntax to call the class or to uh, inherit the text box whatever class one dot text what product id will take what product id will take from the from that form oh sorry sorry it's like a mistake i just uh, forget to put a semicolon now i <laughs> rectify it just debug okay product id Product ID is one load report. Okay, fine. Now see that and the one product ID is uh, the display only. Two now it display two product ID and the cell info cell information. It was if you uh, put five, it displayed five. This is just a how to fast parameter. Okay, now, I, uh, now I'm going to show how to, uh, if you want to hide this previous form, write this code this dot height. If you f uh, add this dot height, it will, uh, uh, this form, form 2 will hide and the redirected form, the report form just display. Now see that there is no uh, previous form. I just hide the previous form, previous one. Okay. <coughs> now I'm going to create parameter in field explorer to display it in the crystal report 
parameter name is product id you must uh, maintain the parameter name as equal as your database column name product id parameter name is product id i just remove this column and i will add the parameter column my parameter parameter column and uh, the product id column is also same that's why okay i just add the parameter column in the crystal report now my parameter is already created now i have to i have to declare and call that parameter and equalize that parameter i fee arrange it because of uh, yeah. to reducing the time i arranged it first see that here is some error uh, displayed you have to add a reference using crystal decision dot share if you add this this uh, yes follow this cursor just using crystal uh, crystal decision dot share in the system dot using system dot crystal decision just uh, click and it will automatically added uh, in the reference version say that using crystal decision that she had already added now error is height uh, parameter field form first of all declare a parameter fields then parameter field parameter field pid equal to new parameter field pid dot name equal to product id this is the product id parameter name and parameter discrete bill declare a parameter discrete bill <coughs> here i comment out that remember that your parameter field and your database column field must be equal uh, to see all crystal report tutorial uh, visit my playlist crystal report playlist and to see all the c sharp uh, sp.net sql server uh, with link your database all the tutorial go to my channel swift learn 24 you can see all all types of uh, programming tutorial uh, including android 2 okay this is the parameter name product id now my parameter field is uh, that this is the product ID is the uh, database, database column name and parameter name also product ID. I just show you parameter discrete value value equal to new parameter discrete value value dot value equal to class one dot product ID. Okay, this is the class one dot product ID. Class one product ID is what the text in the what you put in the text box. This is the class one dot product ID. Just debug okay one load report see that uh, this is the this is the come from parameter field product id it display leading zero to avoid the leading zero just uh, right click format object and just select where not decimal or leading zero